Hello everybody. Uh, this part I will talk about the uh, using GNU poke as a tooling for the tool chain. I'm using Risk Five RV32I base engineering instruction set as an uh, example here. Uh, but poke can be useful for a lot more than testing. I just go through the list and then uh, go back, uh, switch to the, the testing topic. Uh, it's useful for documentation. You can document your extensions, your risk five ISA. You can use it for testing, which is the purpose of this talk. You can use it for debugging because uh, it understands ELF, it understands instruction sets. You can, you can assemble your files or link things. Um, it will be used because you have the poke, it's a, it has a programming language. You can do whatever you want. You can do analysis, statistics, and a lot of things and a lot of other things. So back to the to uh, main topic and tests. Uh, we can use, uh, uh, we can test gas, okay? Gas can, uh, we can test, we can assemble an ELF file and compare it to what gas generated, or we can just compare the .text section of the gas generated file with the reference which uh, is generated by the poke. And you can uh, ask about uh, questions about the generated code, uh, all, like all, are all jumps piece of relative? Is there some a specific sequence of instructions? If you want to find some patterns, or is the optimizer doing some sort of things or not? And also else related questions. Uh, so uh, let's talk about risk five pickle. What's a pickle? In poke terminology, pickle is a logical component that provides a set of related functionalities. Uh, we call it risk five, the PK, or risk V, the PK. Uh, it defines a bunch of types, functions, variables related to the risk five instruction set. Uh, currently, we only have support for RV32I instruction set, and uh, uh, we assume that there are 32. Uh, registers and all of them are 32-bit with all instructions are encoded as 32-bit uh, numbers too so the most important type here in our pickle is uh, rv32 uh, instant uh, which is a union uh, it means that uh, at the time only one item only one field can be active and um, the reason is we have six types of instruction formats in uh, risk 5 so hence the six different uh, uh, field names. Uh, this is uh, the uh, this is the uh, diagram from the uh, specification. It's the R type instruction. You can see um, it's considered as a, as a 32 bit number, and it uh, uh, split different. Uh, it group different bits as uh, and give it, give uh, give them a name. Okay, this is a description of this exact uh, table in poke. Uh, we are defining a type, which is an integral struct. It's not an struct, it's an integral struct. It means that this is an integer, but we want to uh, group bits and give it, give them a name. Okay, you see that uh, there is a, a very uh, direct correspondence between the fields and the uh, specification. And we have, uh, obviously, uh, support for weird integers in poke. And here you see that there, uh, this line, they, we call them constraints. It's a, a Boolean value. It tries to, uh, uh, it will uh, check that if the, this opcode is into in the set of valid opcodes for the R type instructions. So it will dispatch, uh, this will be used uh, in the union to find out which field should be active. And to make things a little uh, easier, we can use uh, we can define some type aliases and uh, use them uh, instead of these uint something uh, types. This is another example of I type instruction. The only thing is that we have an immediate here, which is uh, uh, a 12-bit signed integer, and the other uh, nice thing is I'm using. This arrow function, it's a logical implication. It means that if the opcode is uh, jump and link register, then the function func3 uh, field should be zero. And you can add more uh, um, 
constraints as you want to to be more uh, strict to, uh, and conformant to the standard and there is an option in poke you can disable this rest uh, restriction and this is s type uh, uh, the immediate here is split into two parts and we have uh, different parts at different uh, positions okay we have it here and here so uh, we can here define a method to get in because this is a synthesized field i'm using the uh, uh, get underscore prefix this is a, a convention in poke community here i'm concatenating these two fields and cast them as int32 and then shift them to uh, sign extend the value and the b and uh, u and j are also available we will not talk about it let's instantiate an i type instruction uh, the instruction in question is uh, in our as an uh, example is add i x 10 x 11 42 it means that as this immediate value 42 to this register and uh, save the result to x10 uh, this is uh, the format for i type here is the value and here is the uh, uh, poke uh, instantiation of that type and we can put it into the rv32 instant and active the i field or we can use it uh, our helper function rv32 at i to it, it's much much more easier to do it this is a uh, uh, poke syntax function called syntax and uh, which you can uh, use name parameters you can also use the more standard or traditional way of calling functions and here you can see that i am defining a variable i0 uh, which is an instruction uh, which is the add i instruction here we can i can do uh, more style i can print them i can uh, uh, i can uh, there are two methods as as and as poke i can it will generate strings uh, and the string representation of the instruction here uh, you see that uh, i am uh, i am communicating with poke d these are my pokelets this is my on the left top is my input this on the top right is my output and the 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 below is my presentation so in this in my repo if you uh, you can uh, rv32 at i rd0 rs1 11 oh no 10 and uh, immediate 42 okay I have to load the risk 5 pickle which makes sense now it works okay if I uh, in my ripple if uh, the string starts with a semicolon it means that you have uh, it, it should print the value of the expression so here you see the uh, the value of i0 and you can call printf okay i0 you will see here and uh, it is all on single line if you put these three it will show it in a, like a tree and also you can i0 dot as asm you can see here this uh, instruction as assembly and as poke and the other uh, syntax of poke uh, you can also create a bunch of uh, assembly strings using these these are very useful in in generating test cases this is uh, it's a simple loop uh, which adds uh, strings to the as code uh, string of arrays uh, if you uh, if you look at this if you look at this you will see that this is a union and this i field is active if i try to access other fields okay it will give me an exception okay this is not active element and uh, this uh, i zero dot i is an integral struct so i can use it uh, in normal operators this is a, a unary uh, uh, plus operator it will give me the uh, integral value the integer value i can uh, change the base uh, to 16 and you will see that this is the the actual machine code 
uh, you can do much more like uh, you can also you can also use these numbers okay and uh, what happened 39 let me copy it again as I can cast it as RV instant font I and it will it will show me the result I cast a number to an uh, integral struct this is possible but uh, this is not possible because this is not an integral stack it's a union if you want that you have to use mapping in others so we can read more about them so let's uh test the guess okay here i'm creating a bunch of uh instructions okay it's an area of instructions i'm using this uh, for loop to create instructions and here i'm going to save these instructions you see here into this uh, I space, which is this file, the bin, and I the, the type uh, is uh, an array of RV32 instant. So I try to execute it. Okay, if you like. Uh, now I can go to my here files. You see the the, the previous ls was the empty, and uh, now I have this test one bin. If I open it with hex dump, you will see it's a binary file and uh, but the nice thing is that uh, you can disassemble this file using the obs dump and you will see the exact same thing here you can see that uh, there is an li it's a pseudo instruction it means at i t z t six comma zero comma twenty three um, i uh, just save the 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 dot text section. Now I want to uh, save the assembly representation of my my instructions. You know, I loop over uh, my instructions here and save them as a string and put uh, put a new line at the end of each line. Okay. I executed the code, and if I go here, I see this test one dot as, which is a what we expect. Now I can compile this using uh, risk uh, v32 elf s and uh, create an elf file. And here I'm copying uh, the text section into this file. So if you see the ls, these have the same uh, size. You can md5 sum them, test bin. Both of them are the same file. Okay, that's expected. We can use this to test um, the assembler. If there's a difference, then we can use sdiff, which is a, uh, a structure diff. It's a tool in Poke. You can, uh, because uh, Poke knows about format, it can generate more uh, useful information, uh, use, generate more useful diffs for you. Now uh, we saw that using dump we extracted the dot text section and it, it was valid. Uh, it was a valid uh, instructions. It was as expected. Now I want as I told you, uh, poke understands elf. So here I'm going to uh, open that elf file that we just created. And uh, interpret it as an L32 file and get uh, the the text section and then we want to uh, understand the, the get get out the uh, section header offset and size of our the text section. Okay, I select it and execute it. There's a problem here. Something happened and I don't know what uh, what was the problem. I solved the problem and I continue from the, the previous. Section. Okay. Now I have. Let's see if uh, we can see this um, e text section. Let's first look at the e file. Okay, we have used this. Okay, this is the e file. All these sections and uh, header and stuff. We can use the e text, which is the text. Uh, 
it's a single uh, section, uh, this offset and this size. And okay, because I executed the x text off and size, okay? We can extract the instructions I want to execute this instruction again okay. and now I want to see that if instructions equals e instructions okay the answer is yes so uh, uh, the e instructions is, is instructions we used uh, we read from the L file and instructions are what we uh, the first place generated okay you see so and uh, <clears throat> uh, we I wanted to show some baggy boggy guess and <clears throat> uh, how can we use uh, SDF to debug those things but because uh, there's a limitation in my time I can uh, I have to say thank you and uh, have fun